Journey Church. Um, I'm Laura Hardigree. And I'm Debbie. And we have been going through as a church every Thursday through these prayer, prayer first guides that um, Journey has printed and provided for us. And if you don't have a physical copy, we have them online or on the, I mean, on the Journey Church app. You can download. And our heart behind this and doing this every week and taking time is just to try and cultivate a life of prayer yeah. in our church and in our community. Yeah. And I know that... Um, I need that in my life yeah, for sure. We can all, who needs more prayer? Yes, everybody. Me. <laughs> so, um, so it's just awesome that the church is providing that for us, and we're just looking. What we've been looking at is the Lord's Prayer the last couple of weeks, and this week we're just going to dive deeper in it. But I wanted to recap the last couple of weeks and what we were reading, and the beginning part is "Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as is in heaven." And that was just the focus of our mind needs to be focused on the Lord and praising him. God, hallowed be your name. You are worthy to be praised. You are yes. awesome. Thank you for the, thank you, God, just for this day, God. And just, yeah. um, and what you've done, your will be done on earth. Not my will be done on earth, but your will be done on, the, on this earth. And that's so good because my, my thoughts, not every day align with God. So when yeah. we pray, pray and have supplications for something, our thoughts need to be aligned with the Lord's yes. in order to ask for those things or else if it doesn't align with God's words, he won't, he won't say yes. He'll say no because yeah. he's not going to give you something that does not align with his word in the That's Bible so and, and the truth. Yeah. So right now we're going to look at to the second part of the prayer. And that is, um, the start of petitions. You're starting to ask God for things. So once we align our minds with the Lord and get our thoughts with his thoughts, we start asking for things. This is and the good part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Lord, I need a new yeah. no, uh, <laughs> Girl. Uh, and so we, they have three things that we're asking for in, in the Lord's Prayer. It's our daily bread, um, forgiveness, and deliverance of temptation of evil. And we are focused on our daily bread. Yes. And so we're just focusing on that. And what are some things in the Bible that have showed us about the daily bread? When you hear about bread, what do you think of? I think even when I hear the word about bread, I automatically think of food. Like, I want some tacos, Lord. Like, give me yeah, some yeah. pizza. I mean, I'm a basic girl, but I love food. Like, yeah. yes, Lord. But when I really, really think about it and, you know, I'm setting my heart and my mind with the Lord, it really means our needs. Like, what yeah, do what yeah. do I need in my life? Like, mm -hmm. God, I am stressed out right now with everything going on with Corona or like, I don't know what's happening with schools opening mm -hmm. back up. Yeah. Like, am I going back yeah. in the classroom? Am I going to be doing digital? Um, just aligning those things with the Lord, like the things that I need in my life. And honestly, I think for me, I just need some peace and yeah, Some calmness. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for we me. definitely need that. Yeah, and, for sure. Um, one of the things that was whenever I was studying this is that came to mind was manna. Um, in the Old Testament, when the Israelites were wandering in the um, wandering for forty years, yeah. and God provided manna daily food for them every day for forty years. Yeah, and they didn't know where it was coming from, and they what they did is they trusted the Lord every day that they would provide Him provide them the food and yeah. even the, it was for six days out of the week except on the sabbath day and it's just crazy that during that they had to trust the lord and um trust that he would provide for them and that's what they did every day for 40 40 years yeah yeah and, and i think even through that they were like complaining yeah and they still were complaining god gave day. them what they needed and they still complain and i think mm -hmm. about for me i do that sometimes like i i pray and i ask god for something and then I still complain, like, well, God, I, you know, I could use a little bit more. Yeah, like, you can yeah. give me twice the manna. Yeah. But, um, man, it's just, like, almost humbling to me that he prov he provided what they needed, and it wasn't good enough. And it just reminds me, like, yeah, I just yeah. need to have a heart of gratitude. Like, yeah. yeah, you know, the fact that I have an almighty Father who even listens to my prayer. Like, mm -hmm. thank the Lord yeah. for that. Yeah, well, that's sure. why we need to... It says pray without ceasing. Yes. And so that's why we always needed to be in that mindfulness of prayer and having, you know, yeah. being focused on the Lord. Just It's easier said than done, obviously. I know yeah, that. For and sure. I don't do that all the time. So, yeah. But I try, you know, and having that mindset of God not complaining, not murmuring when something doesn't go your way. Yeah. Maybe you don't get the thing you want, but yeah. God has a better plan for you yeah. or different or something And even like that. when you were saying praying about ceasing, I was thinking about even for my life, like I'm so, I'm such a structured person that I, 
you know, every day I write a list of like, okay, this is what I'm going to do today. Mm -hmm. Like, and I have my quiet time and everything. And by the time my quiet time is over, that's, that's my time with the Lord. Like, bye. Yeah. But I think prayer without ceasing means like, even when I'm in the car, like if I'm yeah. in the car yeah. alone, this is an opportunity yeah. to pray. Like well, if alone? I'm in my classroom, yeah, if, you know, yeah, all. Yeah, if I'm alone at all, this is an opportunity yeah. to pray. And yeah. so it's just a great reminder that like all these pockets in the day that the Lord gives us, like, man, let's give it back to him. Let's, mm -hmm. you know, come to him with our needs and, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. The things that we need in our life. <laughs> yeah. So back to the Israelites is that God was their source and their substance during that time. The manna was the substance of, from the Lord. And that's what we need every day is yeah. his source and his substance. Yes. Every morning, every day we wake up. And that's why we're calling on that. Yeah. And, um, and I can just, tell you the days that I don't, you know, the days that I rush and I don't have my quiet time mm -hmm. with the Lord, I'm a whole different person. Oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so it is, he is our source. He mm -hmm. is my source of joy. Like, when I'm walking around, like, all yeah, happy, like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Debbie prayed that day. Like, yeah. I just, you know, my source is from the Lord. Yeah. So. Yeah, and when we trust our own source, that's when we get snappy. Yeah. That's when we get grumpy. Yes. Hangry. Sassy. And different <laughs> so. Uh, I can be sassy so, sometimes. But. Yes. So yeah. it's just give us this day our daily bread. And then. Once we realize that God's our source, God's is our substance, that's when we can go forth and ask him for things that we need every day. Yeah. What are some yeah. things that you ask yeah. for? Or I think that some of the things that I probably need on the daily is just, you know, for him just to renew my mind. Because I yeah. think yeah. in our world, especially right now, everything is so mm -hmm. toxic and then I can become as positive as I am. And a lot of, a lot of people are like, Debbie, Debbie's so positive. I can become negative. And so I just, yeah. man, God renew my mind. I, and that's just a prayer that I feel like I need every day. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah. Well, just exactly that. Like, have yeah. the Holy Spirit guide me and just yes. not just get so frustrated so easily, not focus on the things of this world that can bring yeah. me down. And um, even when I do, when something does not go my way, you know, still to have that good attitude and show the, the love of Jesus to the people around me. Yeah. You know, and, that, and when I don't, and I'm not in align with God, then that's when I do not show Christ to people. Yeah. You know? And that's why I need to continue that renewing and that substance of the Lord to just do that. Yeah. And yeah. I love how you said the people around you, because mm -hmm. it brings me to think about the verse that we're focusing on, where it says, give us this day yeah. in our daily bread. Mm -hmm. It goes more than just me. Yeah. It's the yeah. people yeah. around us, like you said. Yeah. It's not singular. It's yeah. not give me yeah. my day. It's give us, give our community this yeah. day. Or me and my family. Like, yeah. okay, yeah. I'm praying yeah. for my husband yeah. and kids. Like, it's, it goes more th beyond that, I yeah. think, yeah. you know? So that's that's why we are asking people for prayer and different yeah. things. Yeah. And, um, I think something awesome that I've been seeing recently on Facebook, which Facebook is another, you know, it's positive and negative. Yeah, There's a lot yeah. of toxic things. But no, really. People on, I know, right? <laughs> people on Facebook in the Journey Church community have been just asking, like, yeah. what, what prayer, what, what, what do you need? Like, yeah. what things can I be praying for you about? And I think, man, they, they understand this verse. Like, they're going beyond themselves and reaching out to their saved and unsaved yeah, friends yeah. to figure out, like, what can I pray for you about? Yeah. And I'm like man, I need to be more like that. Like, that's just such an easy way yeah. to to get outside of my circle, yeah. you know? Yeah, and also when somebody does ask for prayer, really do it. Yes. Do it at that moment. Don't just yes. walk away and say, I'm praying for you, and then and then yeah. just forget about it. Yeah. You know, we really need to be intentional about that by praying for the needs of other people around right us. Right then and there. And, and um, I think even, like, I've been challenging myself to do that because mm -hmm. I was, I'm not going to lie, before I was like, yeah, yeah. Pray yeah, for you, yeah. but then your day goes and you just forget. But yeah. I was challenging myself, like, man, like I'm gonna do it right then and there. And so I saw somebody at the grocery store, and we were talking, and then she was like, "Yeah, would you just pray for this?" And oh, in my mind, I'm awesome. like, "I'm not gonna stop right now." In the there's grocery store, yeah, in there's un there's there's unsafe yeah. people, you yeah. know, like they're gonna yeah. think I'm weird. But I'm like, that if I'm gonna really pray for that person, I need to stop. Yeah. So I stopped yeah. right there and prayed for her. And and I think it's just a quick reminder, like, yeah, do, I love how you said that. Like, stop what you're doing and do it right then yeah, and there, yeah. you know? And then also just do it in our quiet times, too. Yeah. Like, have a prayer journal about needs of the community around us. You know, That's there's so lots good. of... Um, moms with babies right now that are in isolation that we need to be praying for yeah. or different people, um, the people in the nursing homes that yeah. we need to be praying for and reaching yeah. out to and reminding of, because it's easy for us to go on our day to day in our little own bubble in our house and with our kids. Yeah. I mean, I, day, I pray for my kids daily and my husband daily and yeah. stuff and I can be focused on that, but we do need to worry about the needs around us too and our yeah. neighbors and reaching out to them. And um, it's that and us just, part in that verse. Yeah. I, and I, I yeah. love how you hit on that. Like it is, it's the people around us. Mm -hmm. Um, and so this brings us to let's pray. Um, if you have the prayer first book, we're on page nine. If not, it's on our journey page in journey app. 
Um, and we're going to pray this prayer together, which might seem like awkward, like what? But I'm the type of person, I love when the prayers are already written out because I'm like, man, that eliminates just one aspect of the crazy things that are going in my mind. Mm -hmm. But it also, the prayers in this book are beautifully written and they hit right to the core of what I think the Lord wants from us. And so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's start. We're going to start at the bottom on page nine and it goes on into page 10. All right. So, Father, I acknowledge that everything I need today will come from you. You made the heavens and the earth. You are more than capable of handling any situation I'm dealing with. So I give it to you, to you completely. I look to you to help me, sustain me, and give me your peace. Yes. Remind me of your hope and power today. Thank you in advance for taking care of my needs. Yes. Oh man, that's beautiful. That's so good. And if I you put if this you, on my wall every yes. day. Yes. <laughs> and if you have your personal needs, go ahead and stop it. Yes. Like pray for them right now. Like don't don't wait. Don't yes. be like, oh, I'm gonna yeah. do it later tonight. Yeah. Like yeah. do it right now. Yeah, and yeah. if you're following along with us, if you have any prayer requests so we can pray for you, put those on. Yeah. Start listing them in the comments so we can pray for you. That yeah. we want to do that. Yeah. We want to not just say it, we want to do it. Yes. And God, Speak people of action. Yeah, for so sure. Good. And so thanks for listening to us yes. today and just taking your time. And hopefully you were as blessed as us as we were studying this and yeah. got something out of it. And yeah. We'll see you next Thursday at 5. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>